Hi, this is Captain Steve Tarrant from Maine Maritime Academy, and in this video we're going to uh, walk through the solution to this problem, which is problem number three for that we did in NS301 uh, uh, for uh, uh, trim table um, in class. So, here's our vessel, the American Mariner. We're, we're to load uh, 225 tons, 110 feet forward of a midships, discharge 220 tons, 37 feet aft of, uh, forward of a midships, load 125 feet, 30 feet uh, aft of midships, and load 75, 200 feet aft of midships. And after we do all that, we're supposed to find out what our final drafts are. So we're going to have some trim change here, and this is going to be pretty easy for us to do using the trim tables. So these are the trim tables for the American Mariner. They're in the white pages. This symbol right here represents the center line. That's a midships. So I dropped a green line down from that, and that's what we're going to use to measure from. Turns out it's pretty easy to measure. These are our, our, our corrections here, um, and uh, it's pretty easy to measure that. If this is zero, uh, each one of these lines represents 10 feet. So if I'm in the center of this zone, that means 10 feet would put me here. So if I'm going to go 110 feet, I'm just going to count uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. This is my zone. So I'm going to drop that down. Now it turns out that our vessel had a draft of about 28 feet, so we're going to use this 30-foot table. If the vessel was a 20-foot table, we'd use that one. If it was 22 feet, we'd use whichever one is the closest. Um, and uh, it says to, there's some instructions down here, but I'm not going to cover that right now. So uh, we're going to use the 30-foot. Uh, this is our zone here. So here are our corrections. Okay, uh, it's plus 5.1 and minus uh, 1.7. This is forward. We're going to add plus 5.1 for every 100 tons of cargo. We're going to subtract 1.7. We're not going to bother with this lower table because that's for 20 foot. Our vessel has a draft of uh, 2808 and 2905, so we're going to use a 30 foot table. So we're going to extract those two numbers. We'll come to the extraction in just a minute. Um, so uh, here is the uh, the next cargo was where a discharge of 120 tons at 37 feet. Well, I go from a midships here, and I count 10, 20, 30, 40, and so 37 would be right here. So this is our zone here, and our correction is going to be uh, plus 3.2 and zero. However. We are discharging, and when you discharge, you're going to reverse the signs. So it says plus 3.2 for the forward draft, but since we're discharging, we're going to subtract 3.2, and for the aft, uh, there's no correction. So uh, hold on to that. I'll show you how we're going to pluck that out and what we're going to do with that in just a minute. Let's continue to get some more data here. 125 tons, 30 feet aft of a midships, okay? So 30 feet of a aft, so if this is a midships, that's 10. 20, 30, here's our zone, plus 1.2, plus 1.6, all right? And that's a load, so we'll just take those values as they are. And our last uh, cargo is we're going to load 75 times 200 feet aft. Well, we got to count 20 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, blah, 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 blah. All we, we get here, which is 20, this is our zone, so our, our corrections is going to be... Um, minus 3.6 forward and plus 5.7 aft. Okay, so those are the corrections for 100 tons. We're going to have to massage those now to get uh, the actual values for our tonnages. So we're going to set up a little table down here, forward and aft. And the very first cargo we loaded was uh, 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 225 tons. Well, if these numbers are valid for 100 tons, 225 tons is 2.25 times whatever this number is. So plus 5.1 was forward times 2.25 gives us a trim uh, correction of 11.48 inches. Minus 1.7 aft times 2.25 gives us a trim correction of minus 3.83. So now the next uh, thing, we're, we're discharging uh, 120 tons, so uh, we're going to reverse these signs. So it's minus 3.2 times 1.2. Where'd that 1.2 come from? It was 120 tons. 120 divided by 100 is 1.2. We're always going to divide by 100 because these numbers, these trim cor uh, corrections, are valid for 100 tons. We're rarely going to have 100 tons, so uh, we're either going to have more or less. So uh, this number here is... Our actual tonnage divided by 100, 120 divided by 100, 1.2. 
all right, so what's our next cargo? Uh, it was this guy right here. It was 125 tons, all right, uh, and 30 feet aft, So, and it was a load, so we're going to take these numbers as they are, 1.2, 1.6, so it's 1.2 forward times 1.25 and 1.6 aft times 1.25 all right and there are our trim corrections there and our last cargo is 75 tons at 200 feet so that's all the way down here it's a load so we're going to leave the signs as they are so that is minus 3.6 forward and plus 5.7 aft if it's 75 tons, then it's 75 divided by 100, which is 0.75, and there we have it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sum these trim corrections. And uh, we'll just get the algebraic sum. It turns out that's 6.4, 2.25. Well, what are we going to do with that? Well, now we go back to the, the question at hand, and, it, and uh, we're going to uh, add these trim corrections to our original drafts. Well, it turns out that if you look at the problem, the forward draft was 2808. So we're going to add uh, 6.4 to that. And the uh, aft draft was 2905. So we're going to add 2.5 to that. And that is the final answer.